Hey everyone, it's your bro. Hope you're doing well. And in this video, we're going to create a number guessing game in C sharp. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. All right, let's create a number guessing game. We will randomly generate some random number between a set minimum and maximum. And we will let the user guess as to what that number is. If the number is too high or too low, we will give a hint and the user can keep on guessing and we'll keep track of how many attempts it takes. So we'll need a random object to generate some random numbers. Random, random equals new random. And there's a few other things we'll declare as well at the top. Boolean, play again. So if the user would like to play again, we can keep this as true. If they would like to quit, we can set this to be false. Int, min, this will be the minimum value. Let's have the user guess a number between one and 100. Int, max but you can feel free to adjust these. Max equals 100. Int guess, I will declare this, but not yet assign a value. Int number and int guesses. Okay, we'll create a while loop and we will let the user decide if they would like to play again. So our condition while play again equals true. But since this itself is a Boolean variable, you don't technically need this equals true portion. You could just say while play again, because this by itself would evaluate to be true or false. Now, if our user decides they would like to play again, we should probably reset everything. So let's take our guess and set this equal to zero. Guesses, this is the number of attempts. That equals zero as well. And let's generate a new random number. Number equals random dot next. And within the parentheses of the next method, we can list our minimum and maximum. But remember that this number is exclusive. But since we have these variables, we can place these here instead. So min and max. So this should be max plus one. This will generate a random number between one and 100 because like I said, this number is exclusive. Okay, then we will keep on asking the user to type in a number like guess again. So we'll need a nested while loop. While, and our condition is guess does not equal our number that is randomly generated. So let's ask the user to type in a number. Guess a number between and this next part's gonna get a little funky. Plus min, plus, I'll add a dash, plus max, plus a colon. Okay, then we will take variable guess equals, and we'll need to convert some user input. Convert to int 32, and within the parentheses, console.read line. All right, then we will display whatever our guess is, console.write line, guess colon space plus guess. And now we need to check our guess versus the number. And we can use an if else if statement. If and the condition is guess is greater than number, we will display a hint. Console.write line. Let's say that guess plus is too high. Else if. And the condition is guess is less than number. Let's copy this. Guess is too low. And then if guess equals number, we escape the while loop. Oh, and we do need to increment our guesses by one after each guess. So let's place that right about here, right before we do another iteration of our while loop. Guesses plus plus to increment our guesses by one. Now, when we exit the while loop, that means that we eventually got the right number. 
So we will display the number with a right line statement. Console dot right line number colon space plus number. Then we will display you win. Console dot right line you win. And let's display how many guesses it took, how many attempts. Guesses colon space plus guesses. Then we should probably let the user decide if they would like to play again. And actually, let's declare one more variable. String response. And then we will assign this within the while loop. Let's do that here. We'll reset it. Response equals an empty string. Okay, then we'll have the user type in if they would like to play again. Would you like to play again? Y slash N. So they would have to type in either Y or N. Y to play again for yes and for no. Response equals console dot read line. And let's make this uppercase in case they type in something that's lowercase. Response equals response dot to upper. So if our response is equal to a capital Y play again equals true. Else play again equals false. Then when we escape our outer while loop, that means we are done playing this game. So let's find where that ends. Right here. Okay, let's say thanks for playing. Oh, it looks like I typed that already. So just type this in, I guess. All right. We're good. So let's run this. Guess a number between 1 and 100. What about 50? That's right in the middle, right? 50 is too high. What about 25? 25 is too high. What about 12? 12 is too high. This is a very low number, I guess. What about 6? Six? 6 is too high. Jeez. All right. 3? Three. 3 is too low. Our number is between 3 and 6. How about 4? Four? 4 is too low. 5? All right, finally. So it took seven guesses. Let's play again. I think I can do better. Guess a number between one and 100. Let's go with 50 again. 50 is too low. So something between 50 and 100. Let's go with 75. 75 is too high. Uh, what about 63? 63 is too high. Uh, 57. 57 is too low. How about 60? All right, 60. That took five guesses this time. Would you like to play again? No, thanks for playing. Well, everybody, that was a very simple number guessing game in C Sharp. I'll post all of this code to the comment section down below if you would like a copy for yourself. If you can, give this video a thumbs up. Feel free to drop a random comment down below. And well, that is a very simple number guessing game in C Sharp.